Okay, it's Beer O'Clock on Real L Craft Beer. I'm joined by Real Anyone 40 right. on all the social networks. Um, we are reviewing today a Saison 42 from Weird Beard Brewing Company and Sad Robot Brewery or Brewing from Finland. There you go. I love the that little well, that little sad robot there. It's got hops in one eye and something else in the other eye. But it's 5.7% ABV. There's the that's the that's the original. That's the 14. So that's a Frenchman with a big moustache and a yeah. berry. This is this one's a collab, so you'd expect something a little bit different. Yeah, I expect something a little bit different. I love that kind of. It's it's. It's not quite punk rock, is it? It's scully, but it's, it's it's almost like Space Invaders. Yeah, I mean, the, it's the, like the, a, the most harmless link there is the, the number 42 is clearly the meaning of like, the universe and everything. Most harmless, the link to uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. Will this take us all around the universe? Right, I got you. Yeah. A mostly harmless Saison. Yeah. There we go, at 5.7% ABV. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Loads of smoke on the opening. Yeah. Oh, beer in the glass. Wow, 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 wow. I've got a big five finger head, but the colour is. The colour of the beer. Getting off of amber, isn't it? Yeah, it's an amber colour beer. Got a nice orange colour. Loads of streaming carbonation. I think. I think it's why I enjoy Saison so much. Mm. Saisons. It's because of that lovely roaring kind of carbonation. The carbonation keeps it fresh somehow because there's quite heavy flavours in them. I yeah. think that sometimes. And and the carbonation keeps it lifted, it keeps it it, it allows you to experience them again and again. You know, yeah, yeah. Without feeling the fatigue that you might necessarily from, from lesser carbonated beers. It just keeps you kind of organised, doesn't it? I think your body's been designed uh, although a lot of or, or some people may not like to burp. I think your body's been designed to burp. Of course. It's been designed to burp. It's not rude. It's, it's, you, you probably hear the beer reviews all the time where we're burping. And we're, mm. It's just a kind of clear... It's hap, it helps to kind of yeah. sort your yeah, food reason, out, doesn't it? It's the reason you know, I will always have a bottle of fizzy water on hand on the day that I'm, I'm predicting that I might have a hangover. Is, is I will have a bottle of fizzy water because you can drink that, not feel bloated, and burp your way into happiness. Yeah, absolutely. Um, see, beer in the glass. Yeah, we we kind of touched on it already, haven't we? It's like an amber mm. coloured beer. Yeah. I think we should get our noses into this one. Oh, it's very different, isn't it? It's it's still the it's, saison fourteen. But yeah. It's it's, it's, it's got uh, some of the characteristics. Not quite as peppery. A little bit less sweet, maybe mm. on the nose. Yeah. So not quite so much brown sugar as a kind of a more of a. I think that's hoppy. Am I am I am I, am I smelling right? It smells fruity and floral. Have they bummed a couple of hops in here? Potentially, well, I mean, you know, there's some kind of hop in there, I suppose. Of orange. I'm so. picking up orange and lemon. Yeah. Could be the yeast. They could they use a different yeast strain? Yes, yes, there's a definite sharpness there, a citrus kind of, mm. um, almost like a, 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 almost like you'd find the citrus in, almost like a Christmas pudding kind of sense, you know, where you get the peeled candy, kind of that. Yeah, kind that, of that, kind that of candied fruit, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Alright, we should dive in, that smells yeah. really good. This is Saison 42 by Sad Robot and the Weird Beard. More aggressive there you go. on the carbonation than the previous beer. That I mean, that was going to be my first thing I mentioned Whoa. because it was it was fizzing on the top of my um, on the top of my mouth on the top of the roof of my mouth. It was kind <laughs> of it was yeah. you can hear it in your ears sizzling away. Um, but again, you want that from the season, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. want that. Oh, there's a real snap, crackle, and pop, and I'm doing a small yes. mouthful now. I'm yeah. choked. So that that helps. Um, <coughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a bit. Hmm. What it does it that that fizz just coats everything from the front of your lip uh, under there to, yeah. to the top of your mouth and underneath your tongue and yeah. everything is just slammed with all these flavours. There's a little tiny touch of bubble gum in there, which I think is quite nice. Yeah, I don't know if you're picking that out. 
maybe maybe a little hint of cinnamon. I, 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 it's almost like a bubble gum, and then and then like a bit of almost weirdly spearmint sensation. Not quite flavour, but kind of that kind of spearmint or minty mintiness without the mintiness is the sensation if you mm. if yeah, I yeah, know what I mean. yeah and it's it's zinging my lips now it's right yeah yeah it's not hurting zinging. but it's kind of going uh, yeah, yeah yeah on the gums good beer mm. good beer um comparing it to the 14 which we reviewed we got we got the two the two here so there's point one difference on the ABV. What what what's the what's the Finnish influence? I mean, you've had a lot of uh, Finnish or well, not Sc Scandinavian beer, so it's the, the nutmegs and all that kind of business. Do you think there's anything relation-wise? Yeah, I know people in Scandinavia are probably going to get very cross now and say that Finnish people are very different to Norwegian people. <laughs> yada yada yada. Yeah. Yeah. So you what? Pardon me. Um, <coughs> I think the biggest difference here is it's it's a little bit more citrusy. It's a lot more carbonation. Mm. It's very. Ca I, I'm surprised the top stain on that cap I, I, on that bottle. I'm sh I, I think if you shook that bottle, it would, it would it's explode very... up. But but um, it's it's almost elderflowery. It's elderflower. Mm. Yeah yeah yeah. It's. Would you say more traditional? More of a traditional saison. If, if, I, if I knew more about saison, I'd be able to tell you. But I, I don't know. It, it, They, they built the 14, which you can go back and check another review we've done that already, as a farmhouse out of this one. Would you, would you be as happy being serving this to your farmers, you know, your, your peasants or your, your labourers or whatever on the farm? Yeah. Would they be as happy being refreshed with this at lunchtime? I think it, it, it's, it's a little bit more aggressive. Mm. I, think they might, I think the 14 was, was perfect for a, as a lawnmower beer, as something where you kind of cool yourself off at the end of the day. Whereby this one, I think because we're reviewing, and this is the difference, because we're reviewing beer, we're, we're having to take, or to take big mouthfuls of the beer. Mm. We, if you were to sit in your living room with this, you'd probably sip it gently. Yeah. And, and you could for a long time. Yes. And I think what's happening here is that because we're kind of quick sip, quick sip, I think it's kind of, well, I, I, I'm finding the carbonation maybe a little bit too aggressive, mm. but but that's only because I'm reviewing it. I think, yeah, for me, the burps that are coming are quite nice, quite pleasant, mm. I'm quite enjoying those, you know, that's a good thing. Um, you can have an overly carbonated beer, you know, if you sit there and drink a can of Kylan, you will burp. Yeah. You know, and, th and it will taste unpleasant. Yeah. And the person next to you will go, Jesus, what's that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. what have you been eating? <laughs> Whereas if you burp this up, the person's yeah. going to get a face full of um, size on you. Know. Size on, they're going to go, wow. Right, can I have some? Wow, well, can I have not, some? Yeah. Not from where it is now, but from <laughs> the, the bottle, you might have somewhere else. I'm going to show you the sediment. There we have a kind of a clear glass of beer. Um, it's just the Whoa. second fermentation process. It's just where they've added, it's where all that carbonation comes from, is from the yeast, and that's the yeast in the glass. If you want to Google second fermentation process, yeah, you go can do, and that. do that. Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've been talking about yeah. second fermentation for the last half an hour, so we're not going to talk about it anymore. Um, your final thoughts on the rating then on Saison 42 by Weird Beard and Sad Robots. Mm. Yeah, I'm not clear that it's the, the answer to life, the universe and everything. But what I am clear on is that this is an almightily refreshing beer. Um, for me, it's Weird Beard have done a, a great series of these beers, the Saisons, and, and given a great introduction into how some of those different styles might work. This for me is potentially a more continental kind of shift on, mm. on how those things might work, and, and it's interesting. It's, it's probably not my favourite of the range, but it's very, very solid. Mm. No, it's a great beer. Yeah, it's a good beer. Good beer. Um, I would go with an eight and a half on this, which is a good rating. You know, it's, it's you know eighty five percent if you want to look at it that way. Yeah. Um, and I love the. I love I love the label. I, yeah. I, I love I love whoever these guys have got doing their marketing. They're good. Fantastic. Um, so well done you. For that eighty five eight and a half. Uh, yeah, I, I reckon I reckon uh, I'm gonna give this an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Um, the the season fourteen, I give a nine. Um, it was absolutely classic to the style. Um, this one, 
it's it's a it's a very very good beer. This it, it, this is something that it's not kicking for you. Not not as it's just not the same as the fourteen. Whatever reason that may be, I think it might be the carbonation. It might be just a little bit too carbonated. But eight out of ten is a great result. Um, it's a beer that I would definitely buy again mm. from DS Drinks, DS Discount Supermarket in Cardiff, where we picked this one up. But thanks for watching us, Real Out Loud, uh, Real Out 140. Um, put your comments in the comments box, subscribe if you like, and cheers.